YouTube so I just took my hair down from my individuals and now um, it did I did a hot oil treatment so now I'm actually going to cleanse my hair and I'm going to do a mud rinse so um, since I'm going to do the mud rinse and I'm going to do it with bentonite clay I decided to just come on and show exactly how I'm going to make it so let me stop cleaning my hair Let's show the ingredients. So here is focus all the ingredients here. Um, here is actual um, this is African black soap that has been soaking in water. This is how it looks originally. Put it in boiling hot water and it melts down into this liquid form. So that's African black soap. This is olive vera juice. This is the bentonite clay. Get that from Amazon or eBay. That's where I got mine from. Next to that, we have the essential oils, which is eucalyptus, clove bud, and ylang ylang. Also, almond oil, coconut oil, olive oil, honey apple cider vinegar and optional pH test strips. I want my um, mud rinse to be about 7 because I do have low porosity hair but the ideal pH for a shampoo is 5 to 7 just so you know. So here's all the ingredients and next is how to make it. Okay so first what I'm going to do is start off with my bowl here. First, I'm going to measure out my bentonite clay. I'm going to do three fourths cup bentonite clay. And then I'm going to move on to my liquids. I'm going to measure out a quarter cup of the African black soap water. So this is a quarter cup of the African black soap water right into the bentonite clay. I'm also going to use a quarter cup of the apple cider vinegar. I'm going to mix it up because it does have sediment at the bottom that you just want to mix up in there. So, apple cider vinegar, quarter cup. And then I'm also going to use a quarter cup of the aloe vera juice. Now, on to the oils. Put that back here. Eighth of a cup of everything. And an eighth of a cup is two tablespoons. So, yeah, I'm going to use about... I'm going to use only about a, half, a tablespoon of oil. So, a tablespoon there of almond oil. Why do I always do this? <laughs> okay, and you also want a tablespoon of coconut oil. Mine is solidified because I am in a cooler climate. Use the spoon to help me out. And that was about a tablespoon of coconut oil. I'm also going to use a tablespoon of olive oil. And because you use the, the oils first, you measure the oils first, the honey is going to slide out very easily. 
for all five tablespoons of the honey. So there you go. Now I'm going to mix everything together here. And I did bring a little spatula, so I'll just switch over to that and just mix it up. Now you do want it to be a smooth consistency with the clay to liquid mixture that I use. It should mix up very smoothly. So you just mix it up. I like to let it set for about five minutes before I use. And then I'll come back and show you the pH level of my mud rinse as well as the consistency after letting it set for five minutes. Okay YouTube, so five minutes later and this is how the bentonite clay mud rinse looks. It's a smooth mixture and it is going to have those bubbles because remember it has the apple cider vinegar inside and that makes it foam up a little bit. If you have a little clumps inside, that's perfectly okay, as long as for the most part it is a smooth texture. Now, I did want to pH test this, and remember, I want mine to be at um, 7, a pH level of 7 for my shampoo. And without further, further, further ado, let's go ahead and pH test it. Okay. So pH testing the mix here. And the reason why I'm not pH testing it with the essential oils is because it makes no difference whatsoever. So this is how the strips look. They come all yellow. They're all yellow to begin with. And then this is the levels that you check here. So I'm just gonna take one strip. It's yellow. Dip it in the mud halfway up, and it's covered in mud, obviously. Wipe that right off, and you get the color. So, then I take the guide here, and right on the money, it's at 7, exactly where I wanted it. So there we go. Here is the mud wash. You're just going to put it into a container of your choosing. It is, um, you can put it into a squeeze bottle or just apply it directly. If you are going to um, store it and not use it right away, remember to add vitamin E or vitamin C to preserve it. So here is the bentonite clay mud rinse. I'm actually going to let mine set for another five minutes just so everything can marry well together. But that's it. Just that there. And then add five to ten drops of the essential oils. So here is my hair all saturated with the bentonite clay. And I think that I will keep this in for about 20 minutes so just just to show you I did <coughs> I used about all of it it's a little bit left and I could have put that in as well but you see I used about all of it so that was enough for just one usage for me and I have um, like shoulder length hair so there we go thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe. Bye.